Hi, Dan here from Michigan Soil Works. Today I'd like to introduce our harvest drive, the heart of our high-end systems. The harvest drive comes standard on our larger units and is an option on two module systems. The harvest drive consists of three main parts, the drive train, the tensioner, and the cable. So let's look at all three. The two track cable shift transfers maximum traction from the motor to the cable without slipping. It's supported by two heavy duty pillow block bearings and driven by a custom drive shaft from high strength steel. The mounting frame itself is engineered to transfer loads directly into the frame without the need for additional bracing. The gear motor is a Bodine offset parallel shaft. Its hollow shaft gear head transfers high torque and avoids any need for a shaft coupling. The motor is rated for 700 pound inches of torque under continuous load and peaks of up to 1300 pound inches. Inside the control panel is the motor's speed controller. It's based on a circuitry known as filtered pulse width modulation. It provides speed control and constant torque in any condition and reduces overheating. It takes standard 115 volt AC line input from the wall outlet and rectifies it on board to 130 volts DC. The limit switches are authentic Mojin products, not cheaper imitations. This assures reliable switching to control the cutting bar motion season after season. We use Easy Connect DIN plugs for both the motor and the limit switches. All electricals are rated at IP65, meaning it is dust tight and protected against low pressure water splashes. So now let's go around the other end and take a look at the tensioner. The tensioner is a simple all mechanical device. This hand wheel turns a lead screw, which moves the pulley and takes slack out of the cable. The third part of the harvest drive is the cable. The cable is a continuous loop, moving the cutting bar both directions between the motor end and the tensioner end. The cable is a high tensile steel and clad with a nylon coating. The cable ends are permanently assuaged to the cable and fitted for attachment to the cutting bar. The cable pulls the cutting bar until it strikes the limit switch and stops the motion. And going back the other direction, the cable has a button stop precisely located along its length to stop the cutting bar motion just as it approaches the far side. So that's the harvest drive. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.